हाय स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वाम वेलकम टू वेंकट वर्मा केमिस्ट्री यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप ऑल आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एस्टिमेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इन एस्टिमेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन ट्यूमस मेथड एंड जेलडाल मेथड द प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट एस्टिमेशन ऑफ कार्बन एंड हाइड्रोजन इन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ परसेंटेज ऑफ द कार्बन एंड परसेंटेज ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एस्टिमेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन बाय यूजिंग ड्यूमस मेथड एंड जेलडास मेथड एस्टिमेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन प्रेजेंट इन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इज एस्टिमेटेड बाय ड्यूमस मेथड एंड जेलडाल मेथड वी कैन डिस्कस वन बाय वन ड्यूमस मेथड एंड जेलडाल मेथड व्हाट इज ड्यूमस मेथड व्हाट इज जेलडाल मेथड लेट्स स्टार्ट ड्यूमस मेथड ड्यूमस मेथड In this Dumas method, the organic compound is heated with the cupric oxide in the atmospheric pressure of CO2 to get free nitrogen along with carbon dioxide and water. In this organic compound present in nitrogen, in this Dumas method, carbon is converted to carbon dioxide and hydrogen is converted to water. organic compound is heated with cupric oxide in atmosphere atmosphere of co2 to get free nitrogen along with co2 and water generally carbon is converted to carbon dioxide hydrogen is converted into water see nitrogen with cupric oxide it gives small amount of oxides of nitrogen small amounts of oxides of oxides of nitrogen oxides of nitrogen then oxides of nitrogen oxides of nitrogen is treated with copper gans it gives copper oxide and nitrogen copper oxides and nitrogen see some of oxides of nitrogen are reduced by passing of by passing of copper gans copper gans generally the combustion of nitrogen the combustion of nitrogen is calculated by using this formula c x h5 n z plus 2x plus y by 2 copper oxide it gives rise to x co2 plus y by 2 h2o plus z by 2 n2 plus 2x plus y by 2 cu this is a combustion of nitrogen formula c x h y n z plus 2 x plus y by 2 c u o gives rise to x c o 2 plus y by 2 h 2 o plus z by 2 n 2 plus 2 x plus y by 2 c u so x equal to number of carbons x equal to number of carbons y equal to number of hydrogens and z equal to number of nitrogen number of nitrogens c during this process nitrogen is formed nitrogen is formed is collected over with concentrated potassium hydroxide during the during the formation of nitrogen is collected over with potassium hydroxide solution which observed all gases except nitrogen n2 gas formed is collected over in concentrated concentrated potassium hydroxide solution which observed all other gases except nitrogen then volume of volume of nitrogen is collected then calculate the percentage of the nitrogen then calculate the percentage of nitrogen c let's move on the mixture of gases are produced is collected over concentrated potassium hydroxide solution which observed co2 
the nitrogen is collected upper part of nitrogen meter so any condition any condition of gas at any condition p minus p1 into v1 divided by t1 equal to p2 v2 divided by t2 here p is a here p is a pressure of n2 pressure of n2 p is a pressure of n2 at t1 at t1 so p1 equal to aqueous tension of water p1 equal to aqueous tension of water p1 equal to aqueous tension of water v1 equal to volume of n2 volume of n2 at t1 at t1 t1 equal to temperature temperature t1 temperature t1 p2 equal to 1 atm pressure or 760 mm of hg 760 mm of hg t2 equal to 273 kelvin temperature now v2 equal to volume of n2 volume of n2 n2 gas at stp volume of volume of n2 gas at stp we can find v2 we need the v2 term we need the v2 term so what is a equation for any condition p minus p1 into v1 divided by t1 equal to p2 v2 divided by t2 here p is the pressure of n2 at t1 p1 is the aqueous tension of water v1 is the volume of n2 at t1 t1 is the temperature is t1 p2 is the 180 m or 760 mm of hg T2 is a 273. V2 is a volume of nitrogen gas at STP condition. So we can use a V2 term. V2 term. Then percentage of nitrogen, percentage of the nitrogen equal to 28 divided by 224 into v2 ml v2 ml divided by w into 100 this is a principle to finding the percentage of the nitrogen percentage of the nitrogen equal to 28 divided by 22400 into v2 volume of nitrogen volume of nitrogen gas at stp divided by w into 100 into 100 so this is a principle now percentage of the nitrogen equal to 28 see 2 2 cancel these two are cancel see 2 2 4 into v2 ml divided by w divided by w in this equation w equal to weight of organic compound weight of organic compound V2 is a volume of N2 into gas at STP at STP. This is a formula to calculate the percentage of the nitrogen by using Jumas method. Jumas method. So let's move on some of problems about Dumas method. In Dumas method, for estimation of nitrogen sample is heated with copper oxide. The gas evolved is passed over copper gauge, platinum, nickel, copper oxide, which is the right answer about Dumas method. The estimation of nitrogen sample is heated with copper oxide and the gas evolved is passing through copper gauge. Copper gauge. So the answer is copper gauge. Copper gauge. Let's move on next question. Let's move on next question. Have a look for question. 0.16 grams of an organic compound give by Dumas method 46 cc of N2 measured over H2O at 15 degrees Celsius and at pressure of 755, 755 mm of Hg find percentage of the nitrogen. 
they are giving aqueous tension of water it is a 15 mm of hg first of all we can write the given values w is given weight of organic compound is given it is a 0.16 grams so the temperature is given it is a t1 15 degrees celsius it is converted to kelvin to 73 it gives 288 kelvin 288 kelvin so v1 volume is given volume is given 46 46 cc cc means nothing but 46 ml 46 ml now pressure pressure p1 is given it is a 15 mm of hg 15 mm of hg so p is given p is given it is a 755 mm of hg p1 is a aqueous tension p is a 755 mm of hg p2 p2 is a pressure at stp it is a 760 mm of hg 760 mm of hg now t2 t2 is a 273 t2 is a 273 let's find v2 we can find the v2 v2 how many ml so let's write the so p minus p1 into v1 divided by t1 it is equal to p2 v2 by t2 p2 v2 by t2 let's substitute the values p p its value is a 755 minus p1 its value equal to 15 value it is of 46 t1 it is a 288 kelvin it is equal to p2 is a 760 mm of hg v2 we don't know we can let's find the v2 t2 is a what is a 273 kelvin 273 kelvin so v2 we can calculate v2 v2 comes it is a 42.6 ml v2 is a 46.6 ml when v2 comes means we can calculate percentage of the nitrogen equal to 28 divided by 22400 into v2 in ml by w into 100 into 100 so 28 divided by 22400 into v2 is a 426 ml by w is a weight of organic compound it is a 0.16 into 100 we can solve we are getting approximately percentage of the nitrogen comes is a 33 percentage 33 percentage so this is the way to calculate percentage of the nitrogen by using dumas method by using dumas method let's move on next one the next one is jeldals method next one is jeldals method in this jeldals method organic compound is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid the nitrogen is converted to ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate so what is jeldals method in jeldals method organic compound is organic compound is organic compound is heated with organic compound is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid the nitrogen can converted to ammonium sulfate nitrogen is converted to ammonium sulfate nitrogen is converted to ammonium sulfate see the mixture of ammonium sulfate the resultant mixture of ammonium sulfate heated with heated with excess of sodium hydroxide solution excess of excess of sodium hydroxide solution ammonia is evolved ammonia is evolved here organic compound is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid it gives ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate treated with excess of sodium hydroxide solution to evolve the ammonia to evolve the ammonia so the amount of ammonia is produced the amount of ammonia is produced is determining the estimation of amount of sulfuric acid consumed in the reaction the amount of ammonia produced is determined by 
estimating the amount of H2SO4 is consumed. Amount of H2SO4 is consumed. In the acid is acid left unused is estimated by titration with some standard alkali solution. Some standard some standard alkali solution. In this general method, organic compound is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid. It is converted to ammonium sulfate. The nitrogen is converted to ammonium sulfate. The ammonium sulfate is heated with excess of sodium hydroxide solution. The ammonia is evolved. The amount of ammonia is produced to determine the estimating the amount of H2SO4 consumed in the reaction. The acid left unused is estimated by titration with some standard alkali solution. Some standard alkali solution. See ammonia with H2SO4 solution it gives ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate. See now how to find percentage of the nitrogen percentage of the nitrogen in organic compound so 1.4 by divided by into n into volume in ml volume in ml here w is a w is a weight of organic compound w is the weight of organic compound n is a normality of acid n is a normality of acid normality of acid v is the volume of acid used v is the volume of acid used in ml used in ml volume of acid used in ml this is the principle to calculate percentage of the nitrogen uh, equal to 1.4 divided by w into n into v in ml volume in ml so generally the general method is general method is not applicable to not applicable to compounds containing nitro nitroso azo group ejoxy group and nitrogen present in the ring like pyridine quinolidine because present in the organic compound is not qualitatively is converted to ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate let's move on Gelda's method is not applicable to compounds containing nitro NO2 NO nitroso azo group ejoxy ejoxy group these are not applicable to not applicable to Gelda's method Gelda's method is not applicable to compounds containing NO2 nitroso NO azo and double bond N ejoxy and double bond N nitrogen with the covalent bond with the coordinate covalent bond with oxygen nitrogen presenting ring ring like pyridine quinoline pyridine quinoline so these compounds are not applicable to Jeldahl's method this is very important for the competitive exams like NEET and G what is the reason for not applicable to Jeldahl's method this compound these compounds are present in the compound is nitrogen is not converted to ammonium sulfate nitrogen is not converted to ammonium sulfate let's do some problems about Zeldahl's method Zeldahl's method have a look for this question nitrogen can be estimated by Zeldahl's method for which of the following compound is which of the following the first one is benzene with NO2 group the second one B is a benzene with diazonium salt and third one is pyridine and fourth one is benzene with CH2 NH2. So the first one NO2 is not possible and it is a diazonium salt. It is a pyridine a ring with nitrogen. It is also not possible. So the last one benzene with CH2 NH2 uh, it can be used the estimate estimate the compound by using Gelder's method. Gelder's method. So the option is D. Option is D. Gelder's method for nitrogen estimated is not applicable for nitro compounds like NO2, nitrobenzene, and diazonium salt. Diazonium salt like benzene with the ring pyridine quinoline. So the option is D. Have a look for next question. Have a look for next question. 
have a look for problem. While estimating the nitrogen present in an organic compound by Zeldahl's method, for the ammonia is evolved 0.25 grams of compound, neutralized 2.5 ml of 2 molar sulfuric acid, the percentage of the nitrogen organic compound. First of all, we can write the percentage of the nitrogen is calculated by using 1.4 divided by divided by W into W into volume of acid volume of acid into normality of acid normality of acid this is the principle to calculate percentage of the nitrogen see first of all what is the volume how much is given volume of acid so volume of acid is given it is a 2.5 ml 2.5 ml normality of acid so the normality of acid normality is not given molarity is given so how to convert the normality how to convert the normality the two molar two molar so the normality of acid equal to molarity of acid into basicity basicity molarity is how much is given two basicity of sulfuric acid is a two so the normality of acid is a four normality of acid is a four what is the weight of organic compound weight of organic compound is a 0.25 grams 0.25 grams so let's substitute these values so 1.4 into volume of acid is a 2.5 ml into normality of acid is a four divided by weight of organic compound is a 0.25 we can solve we are getting the nearly approximate value is the 56 percentage 56 percentage above the answer is option c option is the c this is about this is about zeldahl's method zeldahl's method c i hope like this video don't forget to share your friends don't forget to give like if you find this content is valuable, make sure to subscribe for subscribe for insightful lectures. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.